So what's up there YouTube? So it turns out if you look at any website and you do a review on this new carb that we have, you got people who like it a lot and you got people who hate it. Now I know that's one of the big things when going to a pod filter, that people just don't seem to like it because they can't get it to breathe right. Now I'm absolutely sure that over the course of time I'll have to rejet this thing. But that's somewhere down the road and we're talking about right now. So on my last video that had to be promptly corrected, because I had the spring in the wrong place when I set up the carb. But you can be encouraged to know that the current video is the correct way to do it. Again, thanks to ICFT and my boy JP. But on the video before that, I had a fellow YouTuber chime in that this carb couldn't be used and that I was wasting my time. So at the time, I informed him that everybody's a little bit different, including conditions and even knowledge of a situation. But I digress. So that's what we're doing today, seeing if this carb will fire up so if and when it does we might even go for a little speed run for a comparison on the new carb and the old let's do this y'all so i'm not absolutely sure but i think the first request was to see if this thing's going to start up so let's do that Like butter, baby. All right, now I want to check and make sure it's going to stay running. I'm basically at idle. So with the clutch in, sounds pretty good. All right, folks, you know how we do it. First of two. Let's go. We'll take 28. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. Seems like 28 is what we're working with until it's rejetted. So guys, until next time, you know this is your boy Kachi's Kid. Just reminding you to never let anyone tell you you can't do something. Alright? I want everybody to have a great day. And you know your boy's going to see you in the next one. Peace, y'all.